Hello, and welcome to Bada Boom. I'm Troy. After the Super Mario Brothers movie earned over 1 billion at the box office, we've been counting down the days for Nintendo to put another one of their properties on the Rainbow Road to the silver screen. I have to say, I didn't think I'd see the live action Legend of Zelda film produced by Spider Man producer Avi Arred as the next announcement in movies from Nintendo. But before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, I didn't think we'd see a live action Legend of Zelda film, especially one from Avi Arred, the man who brought the world Morbin Time. Remember that meme? Thanks, Jared Leto. Separate from that, Super Mario Brothers provided a great template for a Nintendo film to be successful. Confirming via X slash Twitter, a live action movie for Legend of Zelda, Nintendo shared a statement from Legend of Zelda creator Shigeru Maimato. The statement says, this is Maimato. I've been working on the live action film of Legend of Zelda for many years now with Avi Arad-san, who has produced many mega head films. I have asked Avi-san to produce this film with me, and we have now officially started the development of the film with Nintendo itself heavily involved in the production. It will take time until its completion, but I hope you look forward to seeing it. The movie is set to be directed by Wes Ball, who has done a successful trilogy of Maze Runner, and is directing the upcoming Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which dropped its first trailer just a couple days ago. This is pretty funny, considering he tweeted years ago about directing a potential Legend of Zelda film. Talk about manifestation. After the success of Super Mario Bros. movie, it's great to see another Nintendo movie in the works. But it's been in development for years? According to a story Variety covered in April with my motto of Nintendo, it's due to the difficulty of making a video game based on levels, not a movie. Part of the storytelling of video games is the trial and error and grinding through levels to move the story forward. Mayamato continues saying, just following the plot points of the video game will never work as a movie. Without the involvement of the player, it won't meet expectations. And I totally agree with this, but I think they can pull it off. They did an excellent job with Super Mario showing character development without losing focus on moving the story forward. Another reason for the delay could be Nintendo's apprehension against doing things that will hurt the overall Nintendo brand. This is the reason it took so long for them to take another stab at the Super Mario Bros. movie. But not sure how that care and consideration landed with a partnership with Sony and Avadi Arad. Arad has had a lot of success, but has recently taken a backseat on the main MCU Spider-Man films while bringing the world Venom and Morbius, which to be honest, both were not well received by fans or critics. We also just saw Ariel Rad unsuccessfully adapt one of the most cinematic games in history, Uncharted, which starred Tom Holland. So we are so much closer to those fan casts of Holland as Link becoming a reality. And honestly, I hope so. How much influence do you think Arad will have? Who knows? The film will be 50% financed by Nintendo, so I think they'll retain a lot of creative control, which is definitely a smart move. While this is a live action movie and there's no plot or casting details at the moment, I can already feel the excitement and the fan base for Zelda has never been stronger. The latest game in the series, 2023's Tears of the Kingdom, sold more than 10 million copies in the first three days and is a favorite for game of the year. But what do you think? Are you excited to see a live action Zelda movie? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bada boom!